A 2020 international T20I is a form of cricket played between two of the international members of the International Cricket Council (ICC) in which each team faces 20 overs. The matches have top class status and are the highest T20 standard. The game is played under the rules of 2020 cricket. Since 2005, T20I status only applied to full members and some associate member teams. However, in April 2018, the ICC announced that it will grant T20I status to all its 105 members from the 1st of January 2019. The shortened format was initially introduced to bolster crowds for the domestic game and was not intended to be played internationally, but the first 2020 international took place on the 17th of February 2005 when Australia defeated New Zealand, and the first tournament was played 2 years later with the introduction of the ICC World 2020. In 2016, for the first time in a calendar year, more 2020 international matches 100 were played than ODI matches 99. There remain limits on how many 2020 internationals a team can play each year, in order to protect Test cricket and one-day internationals. As of 2017, 18 nations featured in ICC T20I team rankings. 2020 international format also sees one mandatory power play taken in the first six overs. This shorter format of the game makes reaching the traditional milestones of scoring a century or taking five wickets in an innings more difficult, and few players have achieved these. The highest individual score in a 2020 international is 172, made by Australia's Aaron Finch against Zimbabwe in 2018, while Sri Lanka's Ajantha Mendes and India's Yuzvendra Shahal are the only bowlers to have taken two six wickets in an innings, and fewer than 20 players have taken five wickets in an innings. Origins Cricket itself was probably first played in England in the late Middle Ages, but it did not rise to prominence until the 18th century. A set of laws were drawn up in 1744, and the game achieved a level of relative standardisation by the late 19th century. One day cricket was trialled in 1962, and the first domestic tournament played the following year, and in 1971, England and Australia contested the first one day international. The match consisted of one innings for each side, with 48 ball overs. In the 1990s, a number of countries were exploring the possibility of a shorter game still. In New Zealand, Martin Crow developed Cricket Max, in which each team bats for 10 8 ball overs, while in Australia they considered an 8 a side contest they dubbed. Super 8s. At the same time, the England and Wales Cricket Board (ECB) conducted consumer research and proposed the idea of a 20 overs per side contest, which would last for about three hours. The first match was played in 2003 between Hampshire and Sussex. Topic: History. The first 2020 international match between two men's sides was played on 17 February 2005, involving Australia and New Zealand. Wisden Cricketers Almanac reported that, "...neither side took the game especially seriously," and it was noted by ESPN Crisinfo that but for a large score for Ricky Ponting, "...the concept would have shuddered." However, Ponting himself said, if it does become an international game then I'm sure the novelty won't be there all the time." Two further matches were played that year, England beat Australia in June, and South Africa were defeated by New Zealand in October. Early the following year, a contest between New Zealand and the West Indies finished as the first tied match, and a tiebreak was played for the first time in men's international cricket. The two sides took part in a bowl out to determine a winner. New Zealand won 3 0. The game had initially been developed to boost the interest in domestic cricket, and to aid this, the international teams were only allowed to host three T20s each year. The cricket manager for the ICC, David Richardson, also commented that. Part of the success of 2020 cricket is making sure it can coexist with Test cricket and one dayers. Despite this, the first international tournament was held in 2007 in South Africa, the 2007 ICC World 2020. That tournament was won by India, who defeated their close rivals Pakistan in the final. Writing for The Guardian, Dilip Premachandran suggested that the competition's success meant that, the format is here to stay. 
The next tournament was scheduled for 2009, and it was decided that they would take place biannually more frequently than the 50-over Cricket World Cup, which occurs once every four years. In the opening match of the 2007 World 2020, Chris Gale scored the first century in a T20I, the achievement being reached in the 20th match of the format. The 500th T20I match was contested between Ireland and the United Arab Emirates at the Sheikh Zayed Stadium, Abu Dhabi on the 16th of February 2016. ICC decided to use DRS in 2020 internationals from October 2017. The Umpire Decision Review System DRS was used for the first time in 2020 International in India-Australia T20I Series in October 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Current international rankings <laughs> Teams with T20I status Topic: Permanent T20I status. Prior to 2018, permanent T20I status was limited to the 12 Test playing nations, which are also the 12 full members of the ICC, maintained permanent T20I status. The nations are listed below with the date of each nation's T20I debut after gaining permanent T20I status, shown in brackets. New Zealand the 17th of February 2005 Australia the 17th of February 2005 England the 13th of June 2005 South Africa the 21st of October 2005 West Indies the 16th of February 2006 Sri Lanka the 15th of June 2006 Pakistan the 28th of August 2006 Bangladesh the 28th of November 2006 Zimbabwe the 28th of November 2006 India the 1st of December 2006 Afghanistan the 5th of February 2018 Ireland the 12th of June 2018 however in April 2018 the ICC announced that it will grant T20I status to all of its 104 members from the 1st of January 2019 Topic: Temporary T20I status. Between 2005 and 2018, the ICC granted temporary ODI and T20I status to six other teams known as associate members. Teams earned this temporary status for a period of four years based on their performance in the quadrennial ICC World Cricket League, or, more specifically, based on the top six finishing positions at the ICC World Cup qualifier, which is the final event of the World Cricket League. On 28 June 2014, the ICC granted T20I status to Nepal and Netherlands, both of whom qualified for and took part in the 2014 ICC World 2020, but had both failed to gain, retain ODI status. The following six teams currently have this status the dates listed in brackets are of their first T20I match after gaining temporary ODI or T20I status. Scotland from the 12th of September 2007 until end of 2018 Netherlands from the 2nd of August 2008 until end of 2018 Nepal from the 16th of March 2014 until end of 2018 Hong Kong from the 16th of March 2014 until end of 2018 United Arab Emirates from the 17th of March 2014 until end of 2018 Oman from the 25th of July 2015 until end of 2018 six other nations have held this temporary T20I status before being promoted to test status or relegated after underperforming at the World Cup qualifier or World 2020 qualifier Kenya from the 1st of September 2007 until the 30th of January 2014 Ireland from the 2nd of August 2008 until the 12th of March 2017 Canada from the 2nd of August 2008 until the 28th of January 2014 Bermuda from the 3rd of August 2008 until the 8th of April 2009 Afghanistan from the 1st of February 2010 until the 5th of June 2017 
Papua New Guinea from the 13th of July 2015 until the 17th of March 2018 the ICC has also given special T20I status to the ICC World 11 team for the 2017 Independence Cup a three match series versus Pakistan national team to help revive international cricket in Pakistan the Hurricane Relief T20 Challenge, a one-off match against West Indies on 31 May 2018, to raise funds for stadiums damaged by Hurricane Irma and Hurricane Maria in September 2017. Cricket at international multi-sport events Cricket was played as part of the 1900 Summer Olympics, when England and France contested a two-day match. In 1998, cricket was played as part of the Commonwealth Games, on this occasion in the 50-over format. There was some talk about 2020 cricket being part of the 2010 Commonwealth Games, which were held in Delhi, but at the time the Board of Control for Cricket in India BCCI, were not in favour of the short format of the game, and it was not included. Cricket was played in 2010 Asian Games in Guangzhou, China, and 2014 Asian Games in Incheon, South Korea. India skipped both times. There was further calls for subsequent Commonwealth Games and Olympic Games. The Commonwealth Games Federation asked the ICC to participate in the 2014 and 2018 Commonwealth Games, but the ICC turned down the invitation. In 2010, the International Olympic Committee recognized cricket as a sport which could apply to be included in the Olympic Games, but in 2013 the ICC announced that it had no intentions to make such an application, primarily due to opposition from the BCCI. ESPN Crisinfo suggested that the opposition might be based on the possible loss of income. In April 2016, ICC Chief Executive David Richardson said that 2020 cricket can have a chance of getting in for the 2024 Summer Games, but there must be collective support shown by the ICC's membership base, in particular from BCCI, in order for there to be a chance of inclusion. Statistics The highest team total in a T20I was made by Australia in September 2016, against Sri Lanka. Australia scored 263 runs for the loss of three wickets The lowest total also came in a match involving Sri Lanka, in 2014, the Netherlands were bowled out for just 39 runs against them. The highest successful chase was made in February 2018, when Australia scored 245 runs to overhaul New Zealand's target and win the match. Martin Guptill has accrued the most runs in the format, and is the only batsman to have scored more than 2,200 runs. Aaron Finch has made the two highest individual scores in T20As, with his innings of 172 against Zimbabwe in 2018 eclipsing his previous record of 156, against England in 2013. Pakistani bowler Shahid Afridi holds the records for the most wickets, having taken 98 wickets in 99 matches. Sri Lanka's Ajantha Mendes has recorded the best two set of bowling figures in T20s, and is the first bowler to have taken six wickets in a match, doing so against both Zimbabwe in 2012, and Australia in 2011. See also List of International Cricket Council members List of 2020 International Cricket Hat Tricks <laughs>